We are back with our hardwood floor installation and hopefully today we're going to finish off the living room. I don't know how it's going to go, but we're, we're going to try our best. That's the goal. So as you guys know, last time we completed the entryway and started in on the living room. And that means that it's going to go super quick and easy. We have all the hard work out of the way, all the weird transitions and cuts and getting it straight. Now it's just stacking the pieces in. So there's nothing to it. Now we have almost two feet of flooring done in the living room and somehow we managed to keep a really straight line running here and the floorboards are going in easily. In case you guys missed the last video, we are using a three quarter inch oak flooring. This is solid oak and it's pre-finished as you can see, pretty cool looking. And it's a three and a quarter inches wide board. So. These are the same size as the old boards that we pulled out of our living room. And here we are putting back a brand new hardwood floor. So here is our Dewalt flooring nailer. It's actually a two-in-one flooring stapler, fault flooring nailer. We're using nails, but they're actually cleats. I'll show you this what they look like. And these are two-inch flooring nails, and they have a unique shape. This tool is essential for hardwood floor installation. Basically, we have a protective pad so you don't scratch up your flooring. And you can change this out depending on the thickness of your flooring. And what you do is, you just put it on your floor like this. You can see right against that tongue side. And it is a pneumatic tool, so it's air powered, but what you do is, you bang it with this big hammer right here on this button, and it'll do two jobs at once. It's gonna hammer the floorboard tight into place, and shoot the nail into it at the same time. That way you get a nice, secure, tight fit. So I just wanted to explain that quick. And I'm sorry if anything seems redundant, but you might have missed the last video, so we're just trying to cover everything so you know what's going on. Now this is a good example of how this flooring nailer really locks the boards in because you can see this one is warped. It's got a crown in it. So it's pulling away right there. But if we work it from the end, about every eight inches or so, Perfect. The whole thing is tight and clean. I can just make any board, really.
So it looks like we're ready to give you the halfway update. I'm gonna call this halfway done. It's, it's maybe a row or two away from halfway. We're making great progress. There's something satisfying about jobs like this where you get instant gratification as you lay each board. It's a finished piece. So it goes from like raw and dirty and unfinished to just clean and perfect in a matter of minutes. It's so cool. Well guys, we're gonna keep working. We'll get as far as we can. And we'll come back and show you guys how it looks in a little while. <gasps> well guys, it's the next morning. And as you can see, we failed our goal for the day. We didn't get the floor finished. We still have about a foot of flooring to do along the wall, but we did the best we could and we got a lot down and it's looking awesome. I wanted to show you guys a different view, as you can see. It's looking pretty cool, aside from our mess. Look at that picked up. So this is where we're at. We're going to try to finish up up to this wall right now. We definitely want to get the living room done. But then we come into this other area, which is like a mini hallway going to bathroom, bedroom, and we really wanted to get this done. Problem is that we only have one box of flooring left. I tried calculating it to get it all done, but I'm not sure how far we're actually gonna make it. So we're just gonna finish off the rest of the wood that we have on hand and see what we can do with it. Somebody asked us why we don't keep our paint in the workshop. We do. This is only part of it. We have a whole bunch more out there. There's just a lot of stuff to do with renovation like this that we just don't have enough space for. And these are the ones that we wanted to make sure we kept out of the extreme temperatures because we might need them. So these are the better ones. Sawdust. What? Probably sawdust. Yeah. Well guys, here's the news. We're being hit with a surprise storm and a power outage. We were literally on the last board. Check this out. Somehow we managed to finish every last bit of flooring. I shouldn't say somehow, I did calculate it, but we went down to the very last pieces. We have almost no waste in this project. And down here, we still have to put in a little strip along the wall. And we have them all ready to go. We just gotta get them in there. So we'll come back and give you guys the update. And don't worry about our big open window. We're just hoping the wind keeps blowing this way and not this way. The storm stopped, our power's back on, and we were able to finish up the floor 100%. I mean, every last piece, yeah. it looks really good. Everywhere that we wanted to do, we were able to do. I was able to stop right in the center of the kitchen door and the bathroom door ended really cleanly. Now the bathroom, 
will be tile. We'll do a transition in there eventually when I figure out where the tile ends. But the kitchen is going to be hardwood also, so we're going to be carrying the same floor throughout the house. We're going to do that later. We're not worried about that right now. It looks amazing. Mm -hmm. Belle was walking through here and she said, this is the nicest floor that we've ever had. Yeah. And now I have more rooms in the house that I can walk around with socks or bare feet. <laughs> mm -hmm. We're getting a lot of questions about the wood that we bought and you guys want to know what it is. Some people thought that this was Bruce Flooring. That's like the big name brand hardwood floor, but it's actually not. This is made by Traffic Master. It's actually a lower priced, lesser known brand, mm -hmm. I would say. And it was among the cheapest available. Honestly, we paid under $4 per square foot for this wood flooring. And that's pretty good for a hardwood floor. Now it is B grade or something like that. Yeah, it's a lower grade of lumber, which means you're going to have imperfections. So you just have to expect that when you open up the wood, you're going to see holes. And I'm not talking about like damage to the wood, but mm -hmm. like natural damage. So we're talking about insect damage, little imperfections, yeah. knots, or maybe the back some of, the... of the boards might have weird things like knots, like holes in there. And you know, some of the weirdness boards might not have perfect tongues on them because it wasn't yeah. you know, a good edge on the wood. There are going to be problems, but honestly, we just went with it. We just took it and it didn't matter if it has bug holes in it or if it's whatever we just put it in and it looks beautiful that's what gives the floor the character that's what gives it its distressed charm you know that people like sometimes and allows you to not be as paranoid when you get that first dent in your floor yeah <laughs> because hopefully it just kind of <laughs> blends away but i like it it's super cool looking i'm happy with it the picture online made it look super orange and we were a little bit paranoid about it being yeah. orange like too orange for the house, but we bought it anyway because we just wanted to save money. So we bought it and it's surprisingly much more beautiful in person than it is on the picture. It's just like normal looking. I don't see orange when I look at it. Right. So we'll try to link it in the description so you can just check it out. I'm not saying buy it, I'm just saying so you can see what we're talking about. And you can see compared to the picture they have and what we have, it's very different. Mm -hmm. And both of them would have been fine. We would have been okay with the orange, but this is cool. And also with the completion of this project, we were finally able to empty out our entryway. That's where we've been storing most of this wood. So it's been crowded. Mm -hmm. So once again, we can share with you our grand entry and it might look empty right now, but it's not, you know, it's, it is empty. So yeah. we're going to hopefully make it more inviting when you come in eventually. And that's where shoes will be taken off. We're not going to be walking in here with like sandy shoes, scuffing up the wood and stuff. And the tile floor still looks beautiful. It just needs a good mopping. Right now it's kind of dirty because we come in with muddy shoes. You know how it is. But it's holding up awesome. Mm -hmm. So that's all we have for now. Thanks for watching and until next time, take care. See ya. Bye.